Hello students, I am Dr. Girija Nagindra Swami, Associate Professor of Chemistry, Maharani Science College, Shoraman, Mysore. I will take up Natural Pigments, Session 1, Organic Chemistry, 6th Semester, DSC 2B. Here the syllabus is Introduction to Anthocyanins, Structural Formula and Importance of Anthocyanins, and beta carotene. Coming to the definition of natural pigments, a naturally occurring substance in plant or animal tissue and producing a characteristic color such as chlorophyll in green plants and hemoglobin in red blood cells, which absorbs light in the visible range of electromagnetic spectrum. Classification of pigments. This is the classification of pigments. Plant pigments are classified into photosynthetic pigments and protective pigments. So photosynthetic pigments are divided into chlorophylls, which are green in color, keratinoids, which are yellow or orange. Chlorophylls are chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B. Keratinoids are xanthophyll, which are yellow in color, and keratins, orange in color. Protective pigments include anthocyanins, which are red, purple, black, or blue. So, anthocyanins are antioxidants which play a key role in protecting our bodies. Also, anthocyanins are flavonoids that exist in various fruits and vegetables. These are widely known as nutraceuticals and are a group of water-soluble vacuolar pigments. Depending on the pH, they may appear red, purple, blue or black. Over 600 anthocyanins are notably present in natural foods. Sources of anthocyanins. These are some of the sources of anthocyanins. You can see here all colored substances, foods, which are rich in anthocyanins. This is called black rice, which is a rich source of anthocyanin. So all citrus foods which are colored contains anthocyanin. So beetroot and cauliflower which are colored contains anthocyanins. Anthocyanins are bright colored fruits and vegetables contains antioxidants found in high concentrations in black currants, blackberries and black blueberries as well as in aubergine in the skin, red cabbage, cranberries and cherries. In general berries are fantastic source of antioxidants which with blueberries being ranked number one in terms of antioxidant activity. Many purple foods contain anthocyanins. This is the basic structure of anthocyanins. You can see here in this structure positive sign on this atom which absorbs light and the carbon will be colored. And at third position you have uh, glucose which is esterified. They have a positive charge in the molecule which enables it to absorb color and the cyanics as a carbohydrate carried orchestrified at the third position. Naturally occurring pigments from grapes always have a sugar bond at the third position, though other compounds such as hydroxycinamides and acetates may be involved. The presence of this sugar helps the anthocyanin maintain solubility in water. If the sugar is hydrolyzed or lost, the solubility decreases and the molecule will be destabilized and lost. Health benefits of anthocyanin. Anthocyanins seem to play a role in fighting free radical damage, which leads to aging and formation of numerous diseases. They may help to prevent include cardiovascular disease and risk factors such as high blood pressure and hardening of arteries cancer, impaired immune function, diabetes, neurological disorders such as Alzheimer's disease and dementia, symptoms of poor cognitive function including poor memory and trouble concentrating, fatigue, poor recovery from exercise, physical activity, vision loss, obesity. So next pigment is beta-carotene. 
Beta carotene is a red orange pigment found in many fresh fruits and vegetables. It is converted into vitamin A, an essential vitamin. Come to the structure of beta carotene. This is the structure of beta carotene. It contains conjugated double bonds 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 conjugated double bonds. Sources of beta carotene. So these are the some sources of beta carotene sweet potato, carrot, or green vegetables, pumpkin, and broccoli. Uses and benefits of beta carotene. There are a number of ways that beta carotene can benefit human health. Free radicals damage cells through oxidation. Eventually, the damage caused by free radicals can cause several chronic illness. Several studies have shown that antioxidants through diet help people's immune systems protect against free radicals and lower the risk of developing cancer and heart disease. Some studies have suggested that those who consume at least four daily servings of beta carotene, vegetables, and vegetables have a lower risk of developing cancer or heart disease. Thank you.